Hey, welcome back to the garage. Um, today's video is on the passenger side fender aprons. And what else did I do over there? Put the button the cowl up. So last video was the uh, cowl uh, cleaning and painting. In this video, I've got the uh, fender aprons, uh, how I got those all back on and welded up that cowl section. I've got a new little shop buddy here. Uh, ordered that from Harbor Freight and got it in uh, this week and uh, been playing around with it in the shop. Uh, I'm not going to do an unboxing or a how-to video or anything like that. I mean, there's hundreds of those videos on the on YouTube right now, so I'm not going to I'm not going to waste your time with it. Uh, so far, I like it pretty well. Uh, everything uh, seems to be working on it well. I'm just learning how to to use all the different controls and stuff that it has on it. Uh, the feature, the reason why I bought it is just because I can turn the heat down on it. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. I've uh, over 200 subscribers now, 207 as today. I uh, really appreciate you guys subscribing and uh, liking my videos. And uh, anyway, well, let's get with it. And. Uh I went ahead and broke down and bought a new front fender apron, the rear part of the front fender. Uh, this is a Dynacorn panel. And I tell you what, I'm super stoked about this. Um, it came with all the correct holes drilled in it already. And I just kind of held it up here I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is right on the money as far as the location of the holes. So uh, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but they're they're right on. So just gotta make.
Well, I got that uh, apron out. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And I'm kind of glad now I did take it out. Um, I tore the metal under here on the floor pan and I think there was a rust hole there so it's probably a good thing I just took the whole thing out. So I still need to clean up this rail, clean everything up, clean up the shock tower on the back side, front side, get it all sanded down and treated and primed. And I'm going to replace this panel here now. I bought this Spectra panel from uh, CJ Pony Parts. And it's a nice heavy panel, but now that I've uh, kind of got on with the... Uh, let me figure this out here. Got on with Dynacorn. Um, I'm kind of wishing I might have bought a Dynacorn, but uh, it's a nice heavy panel. Uh, Spectra, I think those are made in Canada. Um, I'll get get it, figure out where I want to cut it. Um, I think my first thoughts was I was going to just cut it right where the panel lined up. But now I think I'm just going to make a straight cut up and maybe over a little bit and stay on, keep the weld on this side of the fender apron. And I got to be careful too, because there's still insulation and stuff up there in the firewall. So, so I get that and that'll take care of this part. And then I'll have to cut this sometime and, uh, see if I can fabricate new flanges here all the way around. The flanges are just ate up right here. Inside the cow is not too bad, so I don't want to replace the whole cow. I just need to see if I can uh, fix all them flanges. Setting up for my first cut here. Uh, the tape on the right will be the final cut tape on the bottom will be my first rough cut and uh, see how far down this new pan will fit good or the new firewall piece anyway uh, I'm going to cut this out and get it all loosened up there and then I can do some more looking uh, I left myself about an inch on the right hand side here so I got about an inch to play with over here and I got about two inches to play with down here so cut that out and see what I got. Well, I've been plugging away here at this and uh, got a good section of the firewall cut out cut the uh, lower cowl lip off and then I went ahead and cut a section of this cowl out. Checking the fit of the fender on those inner fender wells, fender aprons, whatever you want to call them. 
And as you've probably seen in the other video, that um, front fender apron looked kind of cattywampus there, but put the fender on. And for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. It seems to line up. They didn't appear to be in a straight line. I put a level on them, straight edge. Uh, it didn't appear to be in a straight line. But fender is fitting fairly decent. I'm not gonna spend a, time, a lot of time fitting it because this is not the fender I'm gonna use. But uh, I think it's too far gone on the inside. I'll show you that in another video. But, uh, my gaps aren't right, none of that. You know, I'm not going for that. I was just going to see how everything fit. I've still got this piece goes in here like that. And that needs to be welded in, but I gotta get all this cleaned up in there. So the holes are lining up, and that's the main thing I wanted to check. Now here's where I'm at. Pretty well got everything where it needs to be. I've got uh, some more welding to do on the cow. I'll finish up the welding on the cow section here, this piece I cut out. I've got uh, some more work to do here. And this flange I changed out on this front. Not sure what you call that piece. Anyway, I got got that seam, got it a dress. Uh, it's almost fully welded, but getting a lot of gaps in that, that welder. The, the little Harbor Freight I got, flux core, settings are low and high, so low is not low enough. But uh, the Dynacorn panel fit in real nice. Um, I had to tweak it just a little bit. It's probably one of the best body panels I've put on so far. So next time I uh, buy body panels, I'm gonna try to get Dynacorn and pay a little bit more money for it. I think it's worth it in the long run. So, uh, yeah. Standing in my own light here. So, got a lot of cleanup to do. So the plan now is I'll uh, start on this side. Kind of do the same thing. Um, cut a section out here. I may just cut straight across now, down and across and get this. All these flanges are toast up to right about here. That should leave me enough room to get my tool in and uh, touch up the uh, inside of the cowl there. I've got uh, the rear fender apron I'm gonna replace. Uh, I'm going to cut into the frame rail here. I'm hoping I don't have to replace the frame rail. I've got this outer panel. I've got the new frame rail section, but I've got my fingers crossed that I can just get in there and clean it up. I don't see any bad signs yet, but uh, if you watched the last video, uh, you never know what we're going to get into. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this video. Sure appreciate you guys watching.